Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're on a bit of an adventure. This morning has been a very long morning. I woke up at three o'clock in the morning to get ready for a three hour car ride to the mountains in New Hampshire. Right now I'm in the White Mountains National Forest in New Hampshire, that's about 800,000 acres with lots of mountains and stuff. And I'm on a route called the Prezi Traverse or Presidential Traverse. It's a very common hiking route that a lot of people take on over the course of two or three days. Uh, but today I'll be running it or power hiking it in one shot. It's about 18, 18, 19 miles, depending which way you go. And it's got about 9,000 feet of elevation gain. The really interesting thing about the Prezi Traverse or the Presidential Traverse is that it's very exposed. So up here in the White Mountains, there's very few areas that go above treeline because our mountains aren't very tall at you know, 4,000, 5,000 feet. Almost the entire ridge, once I get up there, is fully exposed and you're above treeline. Interestingly enough, it's also the home of the worst weather. Uh, this place can get winds over 100 miles per hour regularly and actually one of the highest recorded wind speeds on the summit of the high peak, Mount Washington, exceeded 231 miles per hour. It's called the Presidential Range because all of the mountains are named after former U.S. presidents. Fun fact, I named one of my children Pierce after Mount Pierce. So like I said, this is a backcountry area. It's uh, something not to be taken lightly. You need to pack all the emergency gear. So in my pack today, I've got everything from water filters to uh, extra water bottle, extra water in the back. I've got a first aid kit. I've got a Mylar blanket. I've got a headlamp, even though it's the morning right now at 6.30 in the morning, I still don't know what could happen. And if anything does happen, you need all this stuff. So the pack is very heavy today. So I'm gonna put the camera away for a little bit and focus on breathing because I'm getting my butt kicked right now up this first climb. And when we get up there, we'll touch base because I promise you, the view is amazing. All right, this is how you know you're getting close. It says stop. The area ahead has the worst weather in America. Many have died here from exposure, even in the summer. Turn back now if the weather's bad. It's, uh, it's pretty intimidating. It means we're getting close to tree line. All right, we finally popped out of the trees. Got a pretty awesome view this direction. And behind me, you can see this building. This is one of several mountain huts that sit atop the presidential range. And this allows for people to, like me, if, uh, if you're a trail runner or, or a fast packer, you are able to refill your water here. They've got nice, clean, drinkable water. And if you're backpacking, you can actually sleep at these huts and break the trip up into a three night or two night stay. So I'm not refilling my water yet. I'm actually gonna go and tag Madison first because it's an out and back. Then I'll refill my water here and then we'll move on to Adams. Up this way, straight up this rock pile is where we're headed to Mount Madison. We have reached the top of Mount Madison. It's a summit right here. Now that we tagged Mount Madison, we've got the rest of the routes to travel on. Behind me here, you'll see Mount Adams up in the clouds, and then Mount Washington, the highest point in the Northeast, right behind it. The presidential range up here is so unique in that there's so many activities that these mountains are used for from skiing in the ravines down below to hiking up on the ridges and even I've done personally some ice climbing on Mount Washington an area called Huntington Ravine and I tell you I've had some of the craziest moments in my ice climbing career on these mountains some I'll never forget the one thing about these mountains is that the terrain up here is not forgiving at all it's basically just a pile of rocks it's actually where Mount Washington got its nickname, the Rock Pile. But it's very easy to make a bad step and get your foot stuck in one of these little 
you know holes here and it's very easy to hurt yourself so i'm trying to take it especially slow on the downhills because there is a long way to go all right we're back at the madison springs hut i'm gonna go refill my water and then it's onward to mount adams and it looks like the clouds have cleared off the summit so we should get a pretty awesome view up there as well So we just hit the top of Mount Adams. This would make the second peak. And it's a little bit socked in up here. We get some clouds behind us. But it's kind of cool. You see the clouds moving by at a pretty high rate of speed. And onward to the next peak, Mount Jefferson, which we can't see right now because it's behind those clouds. But trust me, it's over there. Going down a gel and we are making our way off of Mount Adams that's behind me here towards Mount Jefferson which is this direction and the rest of the presidential range behind me we get our first glimpse of Mount Washington which is the highest point in the Northeast at 6,288 feet it's the tallest mountain in the Northeast and a high point on the Appalachian Trail now there's multiple ways to get up there there's actually an auto road where you can drive your car. You can vaguely see it. I don't know how good the GoPro is. Uh, you can kind of see the auto road in the distance there. And then on the other side of the mountain, there's a cog railway, which is actually a train that rides up the side of the mountain. Check this out, we're standing out on a buttress right now off the side of Mount Jefferson. Look at this, Woo! so crazy. All right, we're on top of the third summit for today, Mount Jefferson. Next stop, Mount Washington, that way. You don't get many days like this, so calm. Usually up here, the wind is whipping and you wouldn't even be able to hear me talk, but it's really, really calm up here today. All right, we just tagged the top of Mount Washington, the high point of the trail. Um, we're on to the next summit. I didn't hang around too long up there because honestly, there's just too many people up there because of, of the accessibility via car and train. There was like a, a line 300 feet long to get a picture with the summit sign. All right, right behind me, we've got the Southern Presidentials. So right up ahead, we got Mount Monroe and Mount Pierce and Eisenhower back there. And down below, there's actually a lake and there's a little hut next to it. So that's our next stop to uh, resupply and get some water. summit of the presidential traverse we are standing on the summit of mount pierce and uh now it's time to turn around and it's all downhill from here for about 
two and a half to three miles. Pretty wild to look back at all the mountains and know that I was up there a couple hours ago. Pretty awesome. All right, time to uh, pick up the pace, turn on the, the dad bod afterburners and uh, start heading downhill. The nice thing about the trail exiting from Mount Pierce is that the Crawford Path is, it's part of the Appalachian Trail, but it's also well maintained and pretty mellow, so it's very runnable. I should be able to pick up some time on there because I'm definitely not hitting my goal time today. <laughs> I'm not even gonna tell you what my goal time was, but uh, I'll try to pick up some time. There it is. We did it. Get a, get a hit stop on the watch. That's a wrap. That was the presidential traverse and all said and done, I recorded 19 and a half miles, 9,000 feet of elevation gain, and I did it in nine hours and 13 minutes, I believe, which isn't my fastest time, but hey, I'll take it. Felt pretty good, felt pretty strong. I'm not destroyed right now. So I'm looking forward to uh, drinking some beverages and the unfortunate three hour car ride home. All right, if you enjoyed watching this video and traveling along with me today, I hope you did. Please consider giving me the thumbs up, subscribe down below, and don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've done the pres presidential traverse, if you've hiked it or trail ran it, whatever. Let me know down below. All right, friends, I'll see you next time. Bye. You guys want to know the key to success when it comes to these long trail runs in the mountains? You gotta have a car cooler with cold beverages inside including Capri Sun, because I'm a dad and that's what I do.